Paramount Pictures in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. God damn it's good. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. That's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And uh, those of you who followed the Paris Hilton story last week know that she has decided to serve her time. She has dropped her appeal. She's going to stay there and call Barbara Walters from prison. You know, she did that. She called Barbara Walters. And did kind of a little chit-chat with Barbara. Yes, Paris, thou has discovered God while she's in prison. She's got a spiritual advisor helping her get through the 45 or less days that she's going to be there. Now she wants to do good with her fame. Blah, blah, blah. Ho-hum. But um, I want to talk about something we got into last week, which doesn't have very much to do with Paris being in jail. It has more to do with, well, your, how do I put this? Your sexual orientation, I guess, is what I'm talking about here. Because um, it's rare that I meet a straight male who could care less about Paris Hilton. I mean, I granted uh, the story about her going to jail. We were all watching that story because it was just such a circus on TV. How could you not? How could you not? <laughs> but other than that, when Paris is going through her usual partying and her usual... uh you know, her uh, little reality show and things like that. I mean, that's for chicks and the way I see it for gay guys. So anytime I hear a guy talking about Paris Hilton outside of the story of her going to jail the last few days, I figure, gotta be gay. And gay men I've talked to uh, do have an interest in Paris Hilton and do talk about her uh, just the way women do. But I want to boil this down. I want to find out once and for all. Now, it's one thing when Paris Hilton appears in a bikini washing a car and eating a hamburger in a commercial. Who wouldn't stop and watch that? But uh, other than that, her daily trials and tribulations, what party she's going to, what she's wearing, what kind of dog she has, who she's being seen with in public... I mean, are there straight males that care about that? But more importantly, I know we have a large, though you wouldn't think so by the subject matter of our show, we have a large gay audience. Gays and lesbians are big listeners of our show. And, uh, you know, I think it's because they know we have a track record over the years. We're not only not haters... Uh, we've been supporters on a variety of issues, not the least of which is gay marriage, because I say, why should straight people be the only ones to suffer? I think uh, you should be careful what you wish for. And if gays and lesbians want to get married, I say, let them have it. <laughs> In fact, I'd like to make it illegal for straight people to get married. Let the gay people get married. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. But I know the gay community, if there is such a thing as a gay community per se, other than West Hollywood or somewhere like that, but the, the broader in the broader sense, the gay population I think is a, a phrase I'm more comfortable with. I think they understand what our show is all about, and uh, they are into it. And uh, many 
many gay men and lesbians have used Like Us 101, for example, and found success with it. I've always said that gay men and straight men have more in common than we care to admit. Most importantly is that we're all men and we all want to get to the shortest distance between two points. But uh, I am wondering what the fascination is for gay men about Paris Hilton. I mean, there are other women out there. She is certainly um, very feminine and very heterosexual. But the gay community takes on a liking for certain females. And uh, I'm always trying to figure out how they pick the females they're interested in. You know, uh, I mean, I, I guess I can understand Madonna. But, uh, you know, think about it over the years. Uh, we're standing here in the May West building at Paramount Pictures. May West, going back decades, gay men fascinated with, with May West, the actress from the 30s and 40s, movie actress, Judy Garland, Liza Minnelli, Bette Midler, and the list is long. But uh, I, I don't know how they pick the particular heterosexual females to be fans of, and, and I, I don't understand why, you know, what it is about these people that makes them appealing to gay men. And Paris Hilton is one of them. Paris Hilton, didn't she ride as the grand marshal or grand mistress, or whatever they call that, in the, uh, in the uh, gay pride parade in West Hollywood? I think she did. And uh, she's very popular in the gay community. But, but Why? What is it about her that's appealing to, to gay people? She's not gay. Don't get it. But uh, just like uh, gossip itself, whether it be uh, the National Enquirer, Us Weekly, uh, Entertainment Tonight, Insider, Access Hollywood, extra kind of gossip, E-Entertainment Television kind of gossip, whether it be about specific people like uh, Paris Hilton, to me, this is all for chicks and gay men. That's who it's for. I mean, how many straight guys? Oh, well, Dean J. D'Amelio, which makes you wonder. How many straight guys are into this? <laughs> you can hear him croaking in the background down the hall there. So I'm wondering, uh, point blank here, uh, you know, first of all, if you're a gay man, what is it about Paris Hilton? Could you please tell me? I want to understand. And uh, the question for the general populace is this. It's like, come on. I I isn't it true if you're interested in Paris Hilton on a day-to-day -day basis, doesn't that make you either gay or a chick? 1-800-500-866. God bless you. Highly unlikely, but thank you for the thought anyway. I appreciate it. The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That is how we're telling the whole number. Come on, you gotta be gay. Or a chick. To be a Paris Hilton fan. Some guy called me last week and said, I'm a fan of Paris Hilton. <laughs> Come on. Steve, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Well, yeah, I'm gay, man. I, I'm a fan in Paris Hilton in that she's a train wreck waiting for a place to happen. <laughs> but, Absolute train wreck. But the thing is, I mean, who the hell is she anyway? She's not, I, not, a, not a performer, as evidenced I, by her losing her record contract, by the way. That's a done deal. <laughs> Um, TV, she's in a quote-unquote reality show, so she's not an actress, she's not a singer. What oh, is no, she? No, 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 none of that stuff. It's just, it's, it's like a train wreck on the side of the road. It's like a media rubbernecking. Everybody's got to look and everybody's got to know it is, it's how bad can it get? But I guess what's uh, curious to me is, is well, uh, first of all, Women and gay men are fascinated with gossip and, and entertainment news to begin with. I, I just don't know how she snuck in, being that there's not much entertaining about Paris Hilton in terms of, like, uh, being a performer. She's not one. It's a mystery to me, but she's there nonetheless. And so anyone who's a train wreck, you'll watch. I'll watch any train wreck. I, yeah, yep. 
Hasselhoff, you name them all. Train wrecks or well, train wrecks. I gotta give you an example of somebody. Andy Dick. He's a train wreck. Are you fascinated? Absolutely. And you are fascinated with Andy Dick. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Oh, the biggest train wreck of the group. Yeah, most gay men I know, they tell you about Paris Hilton. I don't hear much about Andy Dick. <laughs> I hear about other members of the Dick family, but not Andy Dick. <laughs> Andy, Annie. <laughs> Thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Vincent on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Great. Good. Uh, I am a gay man, and I don't necessarily like Paris Hilton so much. I think like the first, the other caller. I think she's a train wreck. And she's kind of dumb, whatever. But um, I think the fascination with gay men and female celebrities like Madonna and all the ones that you mentioned, uh, it, it, there's some sort of need or uh, need to emulate them some, somewhat, I think. Um, if you go to a lot of any, any gay clubs where there's a drag show or anything like that, you see them impersonating a lot of these women like that. And I also think that there's a level of... Uh, well, here's, here's the question. Here's the, I'm trying to narrow this down, Vincent, and you, you're helping me clarify this. Um, okay. How do they decide which ones to emulate? Um, and it's also the ones that, that kind of embrace the gay community, I think, also. Like Judy Garland, she embraced the gay community. Uh, Bette Midler, they openly, you know, they, they support the gay community. So it's it's just that. It has nothing to do with the way they look or the way they act in public. Mm, no, I don't. I wouldn't think it's the way they the way they look per, per se. Because look at the the very looks that you have. May West, Bette Midler, uh, Cher. So I think well, May West. Well, here, uh, May West is a good, now, now, now now May West was uh, popular at a time when e even if you did uh, support the gay community, you couldn't go out and 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 say that. So why was Mae West so popular with gay men? You don't think Mae West had the power to, to say that? She said she had the power to say anything else she wanted to but say. But I, I, I've read a lot about uh, old Hollywood because I live in Hollywood and I'm fascinated with the history of this place. Right. I, I'm right here in the Mae West building at Paramount Pictures. That's where I am right now. Uh, I've never read a comment from Mae West about, about gay men, ever. Mm, you might not necessarily read it, but you would, they might say something in their shows if you go to see them, as you know. And, and they know they have a, a large gay population or audience out there. They might say something to lead you to the to the conclusion that they don't have a problem with it or that they. You know. I always wondered if Mae West was as popular with gay men back when she was popular with America as, also, as she was in old movies looking back 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Well, and, you know, the, the, the gay man's going to help a woman look good, too. Dress her. Make sure you give her a, a good appearance. Um, opinion of what she's wearing hey that's like a, a straight man won't do yeah but i don't see gay men uh, fawning over uh, i don't know selma hayek for example you don't i don't well mm, no i guess not but there's well i mean they've, they've and i'm not i'm not day. putting i'm not trying to put you on the spot i'm just trying to say Let's see by the process of elimination if we can narrow this down and figure it out because there's plenty of straight women, even very stylishly dressed straight women, that don't get the attention that uh, Paris Hilton gets from gay men. Because, and then, uh, then there's the uh, wanting to be a little rich starlet or wanting to be a rich kept thing that a lot of gay men have, I guess. Okay. There's that, there's that element as well. All right, there is a certain amount of gold digging in the gay community, especially among uh, the more attractive young sorts. Well, the young ones and the the, the West Hollywood uh, uh, stereotypical type. Yes. All yeah, right. Stereotype. Maybe we're getting a little closer on this, Vincent. Thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, a Devon on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Tom, how you doing? Great. Love your show. Okay, here's a here's a perspective. This is going to make me unpopular, and I don't care. All right, um, lesbian perspective. Um, as far as a role model goes or anything like that, I don't know why anyone would even care what Paris Hilton has to say or has to wear, because if it wasn't for her money, she'd be nothing but a crack addict on the streets and a bum. She's a bum with money, and that's all. that's all she is. 
I think that gay men or any women or any anybody, they, they need to find better role model. I mean, she's a bum, and, and she should have to keep her sorry butt in jail, just like you would if you committed the same crime. Well, I think most of us agreed on that when we talked about that last week. I, I think there's very little disagreement on that. A absolutely. Um, she should be in jail. She's a horrible role model. I don't. There's nothing that I would want to emulate about her. She's she's a pig. And um, money aside, uh, I wouldn't waste my time even talking about her. And gay men, I think, uh, I feel that gay men should maybe, you know, think about their role models and, and choose a little more wisely. She's not a feminist. Um, being a slut isn't a feminist. And and throwing around your money and acting like you're a 12-year-old girl is, isn't respectful. <laughs> By the same token, we're talking about why gay men are so fascinated. And a lot of the gay men I know are, the you know, after all, they're men. And therefore, they're sluts. They are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They, they, they are sluts. I mean, you said it yourself. I believe in like us 101 all the way. And a man is going to try to get laid as much as he can. And so gay men, hey, that's all they think about and all they want. And, you know, the more power to them, I could care less. But, you know, the, the association with Paris Hilton and the fascination, a friend of mine, he was talking about her the other day. And I looked at him and I said, I said, she is a bum. She's nothing but a bum. And, and she's a drug addict, you know, crackhead. Uh, I can't think of any any reason why you would, would break the woman. Well, all right, Devin. Thanks for that perspective. Uh, I'm interested in getting the whole uh, the whole wide range of perspectives here from everybody. Uh, gay, straight, I don't care. Find out. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, this is Sean on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Sean. All right, we'll go looking for Sean. We'll say hi to Jennifer on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Jennifer. Okay, I'm just going to keep plowing through these till we find someone who wants to talk to me. Jose on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Jose. Okay, Tom, here's the story. I'm a heterosexual male. I'm actually married. I know you're not going to like that part, but uh, I was calling in because I don't think you need to speak with anybody else. I can tell you exactly why there's a fascination with Paris Hilton. Why? Because gay people, gay men, are a minority. I've been a minority my entire life. Okay, I know how it works, especially in the gay community. They follow their gay leader so much that as soon as one famous gay person is makes a comment about Paris Hilton or, or says something uh, uh, to the effect that Paris Hilton is now a gay item or a gay topic or somebody starts a blog about Paris Hilton uh, in some gay chat room, they flock. They want to be gay. These men that are gay <laughs> want to be gay. They so want bad. to be gay? Yes. Really? That's my theory. I think that... Uh, Most gay men I, I know I, don't I, want to be gay. I, first of all, I want to say I don't have problem with gay people, okay? I have... A sister-in-law that's gay, um, I'm not prejudiced towards him. It's just my theory. I just believe that uh, a lot of these gay people are insecure. They're followers. A lot of them become gay just to be belong to something. A lot of abused kids. You know that, Tom. Yeah, but, but, but I'm listening to you. Okay, well, I think a lot of these people become gay. And I think one of the reasons they become gay is because of their insecurity. Well, they, they don't believe they, that, and and frankly, I don't happen to believe that. I think you're either born gay or you're not. Well, I don't think so. I've, I've like I said, I know plenty of gay people. Myself, I know plenty of insecure straight people. Yeah, and a lot of them become gay. <laughs> I don't agree with that at all. Okay, well, then we have different theories about... Uh, yeah, but, 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 but the thing is that, that, my, that, that your theory is rejected by the American Psychological Association, the American Psychiatric Association, and other professional organizations. Well, if that's the case, if that's how you feel, then, then I guess we differ in opinion. But that's my opinion. You wanted people to call in and give I, their opinion. I did. If you don't agree with it... Well, well see, I, I wasn't asking for the... Uh, for, but wait a minute. I wasn't asking for your opinion about how people are gay. I was asking no, about. You were what, asking why gay men are attracted. But then to you proceeded to try to change the subject into how are people gay, 
and no, then you proceeded to give you proceeded to give your Neanderthal uh, description of how people become gay. They're born straight, and then they're insecure, and then they become gay. That okay, then what which has we, nothing to do with what we're talking about, and 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 you're a troglodyte for, for saying that, huh? I said I'll just ask my other heterosexual brothers out there that feel the same way to call in and give. Uh, well, no, we're, no, you're not going to ask them to do that because we're not going to talk about that, and you are not going to change the subject of the show, you troglodyte. Look it up. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Brian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? Great. I think I know why. I, being a gay man, I I hate Paris Hilton, but I think the reason everyone does love her is because she has everything that every gay man has ever wanted. She has money, she has fame, and she has attention. Every gay man wants that. Every man wants to be able to wear... Well, see, I think it goes a step further, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I find that even though gay men are men and they're not women, gay men and, and, and straight women have certain things in common. And one of them is the desire not just to be rich and pretty and well-dressed, but to be rich and not to have to ever lift your pretty little finger to attain wealth. Exactly. I mean, nobody they don't want to be able to do anything. They want some other man to come in and do it for them. I mean, if I had someone who came in and told me they had lots of money, I would expect them to do everything for me for I can sit back and watch The Simple Life all day and and wear nothing but the nice clothes and wear and eat at the nice places and go to the nicest clubs and not have to worry about anything. And so they see her as a role model, like, I want to be her. Someday I want to be just like her. I, 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 you know, well, okay, I think that might be part of it, uh, but I also do believe that, uh, that, uh, first of all, women are the laziest, cheapest people on earth. And I think that women, uh, like Paris Hilton, or they liked Princess Diana, or they like, uh, any of the gold digging, uh, celebrities out there and what have you, because the ultimate goal of a woman raised on the Disney fairy tales, what have you, is to be sitting there doing nothing and have a guy ride in on a white horse and take care of all your problems so you never have to work and never have to pay for anything. And uh, I do think that uh, this is something that uh, many young, more attractive gay men share with straight women, is the desire to just attain wealth uh, by doing uh, next to nothing, essentially, essentially except partying and, uh, you know, hanging out with your friends. I think that might be. Maybe we're in the ballpark. I don't know. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Ian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, I'm a longtime listener. I love the hell out of your show. And uh, I just I heard your question to the general audience was uh, why the fascination with Paris Hilton is, uh, or you must be either gay or a woman. And uh been listening to your show for a while, and I just know the past week, all you've been talking about is Paris Hilton. I just want to know what the deal is. Well, the bottom line here is, I, first of all, I said until last week, and last week everybody was watching that story. And I think it's because even people who hate Paris Hilton or are tired of seeing her face were happy to see her go into the slammer. Well, most of the people I've talked to, just because I listen to your show, I happen to know that she was in jail or not. And I, you know, I, I've, I've mentioned to a couple people, and they're like, "What the hell are you talking about?" You know, and well, never, those people don't read a newspaper or watch the news. Yeah, well, I mean, because it was the top story on the news, and it pushed Iraq right off the front page. Yeah, well, so um, your friends I, don't. I, I, so your friends don't read the newspaper. Probably not. I was just hoping. Uh, you know, I've listened to your show for a long time, and I was, I was just. Uh, just wanting to double check on you to see see what the what the deal is there. Well, uh, if you want to check my balls, maybe you're gay. For God's sake, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Rob on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Dad? How you doing? Not much, son. Man, that guy was uh, on crack himself. I think. I think Tom, I, th I, th I think guy. he's in the closet. That's what I think he is. Go ahead. Fourteen years married, thirty nine year old guy. I watch this stuff on TV. It's like a train wreck. You just, you got to find out what's going on. It just it's amusing to watch. It's not a uh, in my case, not a gay thing. It's just uh, if 7 o'clock at night comes on, I'm not going to watch Wheel of Fortune. I'd rather watch this. It's, it's entertaining. It's just like a train wreck finding out what celebrities screwed up the latest and uh, and what they did to screw up. 
So you like watching it for that. Now, by the way, I watched, uh, you know what show I watched the other day? The Insider. Yeah, I watched that. Friday night I came home and I got home about, I think it's on about 7.30 and I got home and it was on. And it's got our friend uh, Pat O'Brien on there. And uh, boy, I'll tell you what, I don't care about any of the content, but the show is so well produced. I watched the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, I watch American Idol, I watch Desperate Housewives, and I also watch the ESPN. Probably has more than anything else I watch. Did you ESPN. watch the? Oh, now oh, we're going to find out if you're gay. Did you watch the Tony Awards last night? Hell no. <laughs> yeah. I don't watch the Oscars. I watch That's the, the ultimate test. Shows, if so. you know who won the Tony for best play, no. and, and you're Didn't a guy, you're gay. Didn't even know they were wrong. Tell you the truth, but no. <laughs> All right, Dad. I appreciate it, man. All Peace. right, thank you. I mean, really, you want to tell if a guy is gay? Ask him. Tony Awards or Tony Soprano? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800. Tom. You know what my reputation is? That I'm an a-hole. In fact, I wear it as a badge. You bet I'm an a-hole. Because if I wasn't an a-hole, I wouldn't be where I am today. This is the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood. At one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number. And uh, my question for you, if you're just joining us, you know, it's one thing to uh, look at Paris Hilton in a bikini or look at naked videos of her on the web. But who is a fan of Paris Hilton? I say the people who are fans, quote-unquote. It's chicks and gay men. And I'm just wondering why. Erica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Erica. I am addicted to you. First of all, my coworker got me addicted to you. Um, I wanted to comment on Paris Hilton, being that um, I'm bi with a straight boyfriend. And it was funny, on Friday, um, he doesn't listen to the radio at work, but he came home talking about it. And it's just because she's, you know, out there everywhere. And just like yourself, um, and not comparing you at all with her, it's like she's a deviant from general society, which um, the liberal thinking makes the gay community just want to follow her, not necessarily want to be her, but follow her and everything she does and everywhere she is and just, you know, all the paparazzi and all that. Um, you, on the other hand, we can look up to because you're self-made. She was just born with it. So we hate her because she's just lucky. But <laughs> you, we love. We look up to. We listen to. And, you know, you tell well, The us, thing is, I don't think most people do hate Paris Hilton. I think straight guys are the ones who hate Paris Hilton. Well, I guess I was talking more about women. <laughs> I think most women like Paris Hilton. I like what she wears, how she looks, and half the things she does, if I could do them, I mean, I envy her, I do. But at the same time, it's like, what is she thinking, or does she think at all? You know, it's like, oh, I didn't know that you couldn't drive on a suspended license. It's like, duh, you know, that's why they took it away. But at the same time, she's not very smart. Well, did you hear the latest? Now uh, she told Barbara Walters that she's only been acting dumb, that she's really not dumb. Did you hear about this? Yes, I did, actually, about her finding her spiritual self and stuff. And, you know, my whole family's going, oh, you know, she's only going to get richer off of this. And, you know, write a book, something, start making guru classes or something. I don't know. <laughs> and my family speaks only Spanish, which is hilarious because they don't, you know, Spanish channels are covering it. It's, you know, she's global. She's. I just don't understand. I don't get the fascination, but especially among gay men. I mean, I can understand a straight guy once in a while getting out a tube sock in a video of Paris Hilton. All right, fine. But why would gay men be fascinated with Paris Hilton? I, it's just they want to they want to be her in a sense of if they were her, they would do this, this, or that. And because she's liberal in thought, even though there's less you know thought than we wish there was in such a beautiful body. I mean, she has a nice body. She's liberal in thought, and they follow that. Women who are just out there who aren't afraid to say what they think. Oh, I, I, I mostly I wish women would not say what they think. Just keep it to themselves. Seriously. one 800 tom is our telephone number. Joshua 
on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Joshua. And yes, I do care. Cool. Hey, uh, just to let you know, uh, with Paris Hilton, to me, it's who gives a flying. Who's Paris Hilton? Who, who really cares about her? Well, there's a, obviously there are people who do because she's got a TV show and she got a record contract. She's just global trash like any other pop star who shows up on. Yeah, TV. but at least pop stars have stepped into a recording studio, uh, might have had talent at one time or another. Yes, then they wind up in like some rehab center or jail or in court. I mean, it, she's just following the cycle along with all of them. I don't care. Old news, dead, bury her. <laughs> Joshua, thank you for the call. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Lily on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. I'm on hold. Oh, you're on hold? Did you want to talk to Tom? Uh, yeah, this is Tom. I hear your voice. You just Tom. said you're on hold. <laughs> I am on hold to hear the greatest man alive working on radio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you and I do not like Paris Hilton. I don't know how anybody can say they want to emulate her, be her. I don't understand that. Who wants to look like a beanpole and and look like her? Well, clearly, uh, clearly there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who do. I, I, I wouldn't want to look like her. I'm Hispanic. I would not want to look like her. I, I don't understand. I, I know the modern society right now is all for women having big breasts and being as skinny as a beanpole, which I don't understand. Um, look at J Lo. Look at uh, Selma Hayek. They, they're beautiful. Yeah, Who but but look, look like at her? but look at Spanish language TV. What do all the chicks look like on there? Yeah, that's true, too. you got a point. You do. But I don't understand there's beauty beyond that. So, But the reason why I called was because I don't understand why gay people, I, I do kind of understand because she, she got her money for free. She she sits on it and is famous for what? For being rich and dressing a certain way? Don't think so. Well, apparently she uh, is. Yeah, she is. But who wants that? I mean, women, if, you know what it is? The fascination of getting everything for free and not working for it. And that's how society is. That's why our, our, our politics is going down the drain. Our educational status in the world is going down the drain. That's why we are where we're at right now, because all we think of is fame and fortune. And especially and getting something for nothing. Yes, especially that. You know what? I had to work my at well, sorry, my butt off to get where I'm at. You know, I I was pregnant as a teenager, but I went back to school, graduated, became a nurse, and now I make good money. Good for I you. Can, yeah, I can work whenever I want to. I don't. I don't. I'm not at a, on a sit. You know, a set schedule. They call me and go, "Do you want to work today?" I go, "Yeah, I'll work," and I can make fifty dollars an hour working what I educated myself to do. Good for you, so, Lily. Well, thank you, and that's what I wanted to say. Women of America need to wake up and educate themselves and be concerned of politics and who they vote for, because Paris Hilton does not run for president. Thank you, Lily. Appreciate the call. Richard on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Long time, first time. Thank you. Hey, man, everybody has been forgetting about one thing, man. She's one of the most beautiful woman in the world not only that but one of the most beautiful women that has ever been has ever been born oh, let me give you an example though richard okay there's plenty of beautiful women in the pages of playboy magazine I mean, yes, but yes, do you yes. know do you know where they go at night and do you really care you know after you put down the tube sock of the copy of playboy do you really want to know where these girls go if who I, they hang out with what parties they go to where they're driving yeah but if i tell you if you're god and i tell you uh, show me a goddess, uh, the most beautiful, and you put, you give me Paris Hilton. That's it. That's a goddess. Uh, and and uh, she's not a slut. I mean, just because she she was on a porn movie, that's just one guy. Oh. You know. I mean, most girls go out sleeping with a guy every week. Well, how do you? Uh, we don't know if she's a slut or not. Yeah, yeah, I, I know she's not. Yeah, we we don't. Well, that's, you don't know if she is or she isn't. I mean. Uh... 
Yeah. I, I'm amazed you, you've already got this fantasy, like you've got this whole uh, image of Paris Hilton built up in your mind. Oh, yeah, she's not a slut. People say she's a slut, but she's not a slut. Yeah, Come on. They don't know that. They don't know that. I know. But you don't know if don't she know is that. or she isn't. Yeah, they don't, and I don't even understand why people hate her. I don't, I don't understand why people hate her. I mean, uh, oh, because uh, she doesn't deserve what she got. There's a lot of... Because uh, she gets a lot of attention for no particular reason. People who don't like her uh, say she gets all this attention for no particular reason. But a lot of famous people are famous, and they get fame uh, for, for no particular reason, too. But and uh, by the hurt. way, I think I think most straight males have a problem with all these people who get attention on these TV shows and uh, in the uh, tabloids and what have you. Uh, if they if they don't they don't have anything to give. There's nothing there. I'm a Mexican um, uh, um, background. I'm well, my parents. Anyway, I'm an American, but. Um, if you give me J-Lo, wow, you know, I like the big butt and um, breast and wow, you know, I, I love that. But, and then you have Paris Hilton too, you know, and it, she, I saw her the five years ago on, on a TV show called The Hampton. That, I think that's the first time I ever seen her, and I, I was amazed. I Who was this? Like, J-Lo you're talking about? Huh? What, you talking about Paris Hilton or Jennifer Lopez? Oh, no, Paris Hilton. Paris, Paris Hilton. Hilton. All right. This is the first time I ever saw her, saw her on TV, and I knew... To me, she was one of the most beautiful women at ever. Oh, but even if she's beautiful, do you really care where she went to party last night, or what kind of clothing she's wearing, or no, who who no. she hangs out with? I mean, this is the kind of stuff that's written about. This is the kind of stuff they talk about on TV. Yeah, that's correct, man. That's correct. And that's uh, that's that. You know, if she was just somebody who posed naked or posed in bikinis, I don't think men would dislike Paris Hilton. You know, because certainly there's plenty of uh, chicks in the uh, pages of a uh, magazine like Maxim or Playboy. Um, they pose naked. They make good money doing it, blah, blah, blah. They pose half naked. They make good money doing it. But the thing is, we don't know anything about these chicks. Yeah, the gay man, I mean, you have these um, guys that dress up like famous singers, stars, uh, girl, w women singers and all. Um, Right. She's going to be one of them. And she's going to be a pretty... Why? Uh, Why her? <laughs> because she, uh, she's different, you know? She, How? She, she, um, if you put her with a bunch of women, she, she um, you, you can tell right away that, I mean, she, the way she looks, the way she looks. Uh, There's plenty of hot chicks out there. Oh, I know. There, you have hot. You so have what's hot, different is, uh, about Paris Hilton? You have hot, which means um nice body and then you have beautiful you know you are you are not you're not being very specific here and 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 honestly i don't think you have the answer to my question all right man all i mean right. i don't think there's a playboy playmate of the year there's all the chicks in the hot 100 in uh maxim every year or uh, you know uh, when there was fhm you had them in there or blender I mean, why would Paris Hilton stand out among all those women? It doesn't make any sense. Plenty of hot chicks out there. Uh, she, she, she does. She does, man. She does. But, but you don't. But you can't tell me why, can you? Yeah, you're, you, you're right. I mean, there we go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Lisa on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, this is Lisa. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing okay. Good. I think the fascination with Paris Hilton is the same thing that America has, the same fascination we have with Barbie. And I won't swear, but you've seen the bumper sticker, right? The I hate Barbie, the blank has everything. You know, she's got everything. And I think every people want to see where's the new car, where's the new Ken, where's the new apartment, what are the new shoes. You know, and one of these days maybe she'll get a boob job and she'll look exactly like Barbie because she's already got the same brains. Yeah, but, you know, if you go back 10 years ago this summer to that Princess Diana, there was that same fascination about her for no particular reason, except, uh, you know, using her magic vagina, she became a princess and became famous and became wealthy. And uh, I think that's a woman's uh, ultimate dream is to get rich and famous and go to parties all the time and have everybody looking at them without having to lift a finger to do anything. Our email address, Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.